Good day, viewers. I'm 24 Bit UK. I'm here with my daddy, our legend, superstar. Uh, you know, you, you guys know him already. So, sir, I would love you to introduce yourself to the viewers out there. Thank you, it's my pleasure. My name is Prince Actor Shegun Alile. Okay. Uh, sir, it's good to have you on 24 Bit. Thank you, it's my pleasure to come here. Uh, show. So I've uh, got a few questions just to ask you so that uh, people around the world will uh, get to know you better. Okay. Yeah. One, we want to know about your music life, lifestyle, uh, has it been so far, sir? Oh, well, uh, that's, uh, that's a wonderful question. Uh, my musical life has been so uh, smooth and interesting for the fact that I've been in the music business for about 54 years now. Well, um, I think it's been so trendy, so, so beautiful. Because the fact that um, I've been in music, my children are equally playing music. In fact, my grandson, who is already in the university, is, is, involved, is involved in music as well. Wow. That's great. That's great. So, I don't know if you can just give us a little brief history about your, uh, huh. your life history, just brief about family. And, uh, family me. or how I started music? Music. Oh, no, my family first. Perhaps, yeah, family first. Okay, actor Alile, a prince from Bene Kingdom. Uh, my mother is a princess, daughter of a bioworker. My father belongs to the Obede family. Okay. Which you call it involved the Obasakis, the Alile's, and all this. And um, I have one wife since 1971. Wow, that is... And my wife is equally involved in my musical business. Yes. We have five kids, four girls, and one boy. When I mean one boy, one boy that is equal to 1,000 children. Um, the most senior is a, is a seamstress, is a graduate. Wow. And um, the second one, the first one is uh, named Omozogi oh. Alile. Oh. That Omozogi was named by Oba Kenswa II. Oh. And uh, the second one, Nekwenekwa Sirewa, that's the name of Oba Akenswa II gave the second one, oh. whom we now know as Light, Imole Alile. Yes. That was a graduate of uh, English from BIU, at Benson Dawsa University. Oh. Uh, she's based in Nigeria. I have the next one to her, who lives in Finland with her husband. Uh, her name is Sarah. Oba, already uh, I gave him, uh, what do you call, a BMSC. BMSC. Happily married in Finland with her husband, a oh. Vinay man with three kids. And um, the next one to him, to, I mean to her, is Osazua who is married to an American and uh, the first child just clocked two years about a few weeks ago. Wow. I was celebrated his birthday right there in Lagos at the, uh, yeah. the uh, residence. In fact, they're leaving for America in this October oh. to, 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 to permanently relocate okay. to America. America. And uh, the last card I have is uh, known as uh, amazing Faith Alile. She's based in America. She's in Massachusetts. Uh, she lives very close to Harvard University. She's a nurse, and she has um, an American daughter who is already uh, three years plus. So, um, in the nutshell, I have 11 uh, grandchildren wow. and uh, two Americans. Uh, I would say three Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just uh, all right, sir. Um, so that is the lineup of the family. So you said something. Uh, you said um, you have one wife, which is not common with uh, musicians. Yes. Uh, there's an adage that I wear only only guitar So how did you manage to? Um, how did you do it? We want to learn so that the younger uh, musician wants to learn too. Very good. Um, if you want to have a rest of mind as a young chap. Make sure you marry a wife that 
you actually love. Yeah. Musician, you a wife it. that is your girlfriend, a wife that is your friend, a wife that is a mother who can take good care of you and you call it take good care of her. Wow. Okay. And another thing, you must not tell each other lies. Once you don't tell each other lies, every other thing can be adjusted. Okay. Uh, viewers, you have it all from him. Uh, we'll be right back. Just a few. Uh, we're going to break now. We'll be right back soon. Thank you. Hello, viewers. Uh, I'm with our legend, actor Alile. Uh, so, the last uh, question you just um, explained how to go about it. Um, our young musicians, please. Uh, you've heard it all from, from him. And so the other question is uh, who inspired your music? Uh, who inspired you? Okay, that's a very good one. Um, I think um, at my tender age, when I was about uh, three plus, four plus, I used to listen to music of uh, Jimmy Rogers of America. When he sang uh, one of his songs that was done far back in the uh, uh, early, uh, uh, early 30s. And okay. uh, this, uh, I rock come my babies to sleep. Now, I, I learned that song when I was so young, and I actually watched Habat Ogunde with the dancing and the singing and all that when I was so young then. So, Elvis Presley, um, Body Holly. So all those songs, you know, I grew up with them. Okay. So when I now grew up, I said, okay, let me find my feet and do something and try to see if I can. Uh, that's how I came about uh, reproducing that song, A Taste of Love. Taste of love. Like a new bottle in an old oh, wine. wine. In okay. a, <laughs> I mean, a new wine in an old bottle. So. Yeah. When they tag that one, I rock on my baby to sleep, and I, I now tag my A Taste of Love, yeah. which most of you call O oh, Radio. Oh, radio. So that's it. Okay, sir. So I want to tell the viewers um, most um, challenge you faced during uh, your music career. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Um, you see, one thing, is to, one thing is to have the talent. The other one is to have backup. Another thing is to have luck. Okay. Um, it's been rough all along. Because I remember far back in 1964 when I released my debut album titled Itan Finedo. The album was released, my name was not written. Wow. Far back again in 1968, I released two singles. That is, and Usayuki uh, on one plate on the Philips West African Records label. Mm. The other one on Apola label, Utonoboka and uh, Okiso. These same singles came out, my names were not there. Oh, they just wrote Pami Young, the man who took the contract to take me to the studio. So that's why I said there's luck in it. Mm. So later on in my life, I decided to go into music properly after my secondary school uh, career. In fact, while I was in school, I was already playing music. music. Because what happened, if I have to go in detail, would you want to take it? Yeah, well... <laughs> no, you see, when I started far back in 62, I went to some jigs with some other people, like uh, people they call Ferris Osadolo, from there, I graduated to uh, Pami Young, who, who, whose name was written on those two singles I did. Yeah. Then later, I now joined Badi Omishori at Central Hotel, mm. where I started mm. with a salary of three pounds. Wow. That was 1964. Mm. In fact, that's when I started making my own, uh, uh, I started, you know, calculating my, my musical music career. career. Okay. So when I started with that uh, three pounds mm. as my salary, when I was going to secondary school, after spending five years at home, I hadn't the opportunity of going to school because the money was not really there. When my father and I started working, I was called upon to go to school. Yeah. So, as at that time, I had already 
gone into life. I started enjoying life, I'm drinking and all that. But when I now went into school, uh, when I was going to read my form four, I discovered that uh, my former customer at Central came on board as my principal. Wow. That is the uh, name of uh, GP at the Foka. Wow. When I came to his school, I said I wanted admission. He said, no, are you not my friend Central Hotel? <laughs> He said, Chief Clark, please, please offer us two bottles of beer. Yeah. I said, no, beer, because he knows that I used to drink. Yeah. At the tender age, I was 14 then. Wow. I said, no, sir, I'm here for admission. He said, admission in my own school? He said, no. Okay, where is your report card? Yeah. If you know you're a student. I brought out my report card. He looked at it, seventh position. He looked at my face again. He said, are you not the musician at Central? I said, yes, sir. It's okay, I will admit you on one condition. I must not see you in any nightclub until you write your school certificate exam. I said, okay, no problem. Wow, that was good. So I was admitted that day. But before God and man, my principal told me that I'm allowed to play my guitar within the school premises. And exactly that was what I was doing. Wow. I was always playing my guitar during the day, but at night I would read. Yeah. But in 1968, I won my first award at ICC College. In fact, there was a, a competition between literary and debating societies in all secondary schools across Western region of Nigeria. So I represented my school, Garrick Memorial Grammar School. I rendered this song. <laughs> I had a trial in the school. Trial of uh, uh, Uyi Garik, uh, uh, Victor Amino. Yeah. So when I read that this song, the whole crowd stood up, they started beating the table, the, you know, loud ovation. Wow. At the end of the day, our school got 96%. While the school that came second got 52%. So they gave my school first and second prize. The first prize was 10 shillings. <laughs> the second prize was a book titled The Sound of Music. The music, Sound of Music. Which they yeah. presented to me and I took it to the school. My principal now represented it to me on the Monday morning. That was when I started receiving really our award, far back 68. Wow. What do you hear more? Sorry, yeah, I love King Cotton the other day. So, but, um, those stuff they don't do that anymore. School competitions and no, 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 no. They're not like that. So, so. All right, sir. So, uh, well, uh, as we say, we are in the computer age now. Those yes. guys really fizzle away. Um, right. There's other uh, very important question in this. Sir. Okay. How do you rate today music? Great. Yeah. Um. You see. How do you rate them? From the scale of one to ten. Music changes with time. Yeah. Like uh, one of my albums I released in 1986, there's a, there's a line there which says, Oh, yeah, baby. I have already said it long ago that guys are going to come up to sing kinds of songs you've never heard before. And that's what the silence is happening today. today. The, the rate is from 1986 to advice for them yes for them. every youth coming to the, the music, music industry yeah. please I say again please try and learn how to play one instrument or the other if you have your acoustic guitar and you know how to how to play it 
you get to a very quiet place and yeah. compose fresh songs. Your melody will be there. Your message will be there. You carry everybody along. Okay. Thank you, boss. Thank you, sir. Thank our you, sir. viewers, uh, we've added all from our legends, uh, actor Alile. Uh, we'll be right back for just a few questions. Sam, good to have you. Thank you. And um, you've already answered most of our questions. Now, sir, um, there's this show coming up in January, okay. the legendary uh, musical concert on okay. the night. How prepared are you? Uh, what kind of food are you going to give to us that day? Because all the legends they are coming to use our stage and to take us back to the uh, 1980s or 90s. Well, uh, you say that it's as if we're going to blow the roof of, oh. the, of, the, of the venue because yeah. uh, I've been in this business. Uh, do you want to talk about Mighty Sparrow? Do you want to talk about Jimmy Click? Okay. Those are the stars I, I respect. So, if you want to talk of music of yesteryear, that actually has it all. Oh. Uh, my package is, uh, is, um, is unexplorable. Okay, viewers, mm -hmm. the legend is here. On the 9th of January, it's going to be heavy. The roof is going to... We'll 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 blow out the roof, roof of the venue. Ah. And it's about five legends that are going to perform, one after the other. So, guys, if you're not there, then you're missed because history is going to be made. Okay. From country to Calypso. Wow. From Calypso <laughs> to High Life. life. From yeah. High Life to tradition. To around so yeah. oh. tell us <laughs> where you, the, what <laughs> see, actually represents oh. an encyclopedia. Wow. When you talk about music, yeah. what about, about performance, talk about entertainment. That is yeah. where I belong. Alright. So viewers, you have said it all. On the 9th of January. It's going to be a very big show. Find it a well, I the biggest show of the year to see the, all, all the legends to come together to play, to take us back to yesterday's years. And uh, Sam, before you leave, there's one song. Uh, because, of that, because of time, yeah. there's one song. Um, this uh, four man is so far. Okay. So uh, how did you? How did you keep about writing that song? So that when I when I listen, poor man they suffer, monkey they walk. Yes. Then Papo they chop. Yes. It's like. Good. I wrote yeah. that song in 1975 when I was uh, cast on a, a program on NTA tagged to tell the Jordan. Uh, I was at Articolo on that program, and uh, I wrote that theme song because of the kind of society we live in. You see, there's money in this country, but it's circulating into certain areas. Few people are handed the money, why? Few people are suffering, and they can't get grip of the money. So if you look at the country today, civil servants are working. They are on minimum wage of 18,000 per month. Why senators are receiving 30 million per month? Same now the same market they go, the same school their children will go. So what 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 do you think? Poor man they suffer, monkey they walk, bad boy they chop. Bad servers make we not see trouble. Who we'll see one? You go know whether I'm not black or white. Every now and then, because of time. time okay. So uh, before you um, leave our set, um, just want you to advise the oncoming musicians, the ones who are thinking of um, becoming a, a, a musician or who have the idea of doing an album or, or singing or uh, going to production. Yeah. Just give them general advice. And, you know, okay. Yeah, in the first place, these days, you find artists going to the studio after a night show is very bad. The reason is that the music you record in the studio today will live with us for another 50 good years. So if your voice is so bad, after a night show, you go and record it with a coerced voice. That coerced voice remain in that project for a very long time. So I, I, this, this takes me back to my recorded album in 1986. 
entitled Osei on time communications in Lagos. I was kept at Hotel Bobida at Bobby Benson's Hotel for four days to rest without doing anything because I was going to do, I was going to do the voicing. So I will expect others who will be going for recording to make sure they're looking fresh and new yeah. while going to do voice. Yes. Very important. And they must learn how to play an instrument. instrument. So they'll be able to put their music to the, together and get the melody along with their message. All right. Viewers, so we'll leave it, uh, we'll call it a, a day. Thank you guys for watching and um, so I want to thank, thank you, you so much. Sure. My pleasure to be with you. Thanks. Thank Bye. you.